2021. It seems just like yesterday, we stepped into AUN, young and tender foes. Today, look at us. Imagine a strong, majestic stallions, confident and well-equipped, ready to conquer the world. I look at all the beautiful faces of strangers turned family, and I can't help but ask, who they breed? I say, who they breed? Ah, he choke. After four years of laughter in the dorm, presentations in Dr. Agatha's classes, Dr. Ash's emails, and heated debates in party face courses, and of course, the special phobia for 11.59 p.m., after the pandemic, that threw the world off balance, teaching us all social distancing and isolation, forcing us to go zoom, zoom, zoom. After all this, we have arrived at our graduation. Yes, we made it. And I can boldly say, we didn't just exist. We lived through AUN and left our footprints on the soil of AUN. Permit me to share my AUN story in a nutshell. From the onset, AUN was never an option because I nursed ambitions to have a career in aviation. But then, AUN happened. So on coming to AUN, I came with just one plan, to live a quiet life, mind my business, and graduate. Well, AUN changed all of that. I went from the nonchalant freshman in my first semester to being an SGA dorm senator, community service leader, an ELA ambassador, a member of the Judicial Council, and a host of other responsibilities that transformed me into the strong and ambitious young woman who stands here today. Truly, a lot can happen in four years. Talking about change of plans, yes, I earlier had ambitions to fly someday. Today, I tell you that fly I shall because AUN has equipped me and all others who walk across this stage today to fly. In the words of the great philosopher, Nicki Minaj, we came to win, to fight, to conquer, to rise, to fly. And fly we shall, because we leave this hall today with the AUN dream, the AUN story, the AUN voice, and indeed, the AUN experience. Class of 2021, my message to you today is a challenge. I challenge us to be different from our generation, to go out there and continue to live, not just simply exist, to walk tall but be humble, to see our worth and the worth of others amidst all that is happening in the world today, to always remember, as we have been taught in AUN, that there is strength in unity and beauty in diversity. As Ralph Emerson said, truly, what lies behind us and what lies ahead of us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Today, we cannot forget to be grateful to those who made our AUN experience possible. To our founder, His Excellency, Alhaji Atiku Abubakar, thank you for enabling us to stop wanting change and begin to create it. In light of all the happenings today, I want to end my thank you to you, Your Excellency, with a quote by Malala Yousafzai. With guns, you can kill terrorists. With education, you can kill terrorism. Much still, with education, you can kill poverty, insecurity, hunger, and all other ailments that plague our society and the world today. And education is what you, Your Excellency, have equipped us with. To all the parents of the class of 2021, I want to assure you that you made an investment decision with the highest return on investment possible. To my father, architect Ilya Moman, thank you for all your sacrifices and making my stand on this podium possible. To my mother, Honorable Gladys Moman, who knew the value of quality education and homeschooled my siblings and I. Thank you for always encouraging me to reach for my dreams. <laughs> to my elder siblings, Gloria Paya and Kelta Olanyan, thank you for teaching me to do ordinary things in spectacular ways. 
to Murna Naomi Maman, the AUN class speaker of 2017. Thank you for making my transition into AUN seamless and for all the friends I inherited from you. To Idris Ilya Maman, AUN student government president 2017 to 2018, thank you for teaching me the value of true service to fellow students and humanity. To my AUN squad and family, Oyine, Fauzia, Sophia, Joke, Rebecca, Falmata, Faith, Abuama, Yumana, Oji Echezona, Jamila, Princess Athan, all my other friends. You are friends turned family, and I can't wait for the amazing things we are set to achieve in life. To the President, Dr. Maggie Ensign, and Vice President, thank you for making the Founders' dream a working reality. To Dean Byron Bullock, thank you for your priceless mentorship that has transformed us into the leaders we have become. And of course, we cannot forget the free meals at your house. We see far by standing on the shoulders of giants. You, sir, have proven to be a giant on whose shoulder we shall stand tall. To Mr. Bella and the entire Rest Life staff, thank you for making sure we were always comfortable. To the exceptional AUN faculty and staff, truly, you have shown us what it takes to succeed through your energetic approach and instilling excellent character in us. Thank you. Class of 2021, can you all kindly stand up? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, standing before you today are Africa's heroes, the incubations of His Excellency Atiku Abubakar, the future Jeff Bezos, Dangotes, Okonjo Iwelas, Adeshinas, the future Don Jazzies and Aisha Yesufus. Standing before you are Africa's future. I look at Odinaka, Okemini, and I see African judicial reforms. Yanis Ako, and I see the first Cameroonian female president. Jaguar Abel, and I see the new face of African entertainment. Olubenga Jacobs, and I see the next Nobel laureate. Progress, Mr. Everything Live. And I see narratives change through YouTube views, but to mention a few. I look at all your faces and I see stars that together form a constellation of success that inspire a galaxy of greatness. And we will be great because AUN has taught us not just to exist, but to live happy, impactful, and fulfilling lives. Let us go forth and make our dreams not just Africa's future, but the world's future. Kindly all take your seats. Thank you for listening. I am Abijo Gladys Maman. May God bless you and God bless Nigeria. Thank you.